Hi guys, I just made a video about um, how to write things in Bash or Bash scripting. And we've created something called AD microcode, something that is now on the archlinux.org website. And all we need to remember is add microcode and will be good if you want it. Thank God, there's always a user's choice. It's either gonna be for Intel CPUs or AMD. So you watch that video. But then I thought I've also made another video. So we got ourselves, well, we could do partially copy paste anyway. We got ourselves a script in Arclex system config dev. That's where we developed everything. And then we got this one, control C, control V. I'd like to make another script just for my sake. So here we go. And then you can use it, of course, as well. Arsenix had the idea a few months ago to change their makepackage.conf. So watch the YouTube channel. I've just made a video about makepackage.conf, but if I'm on different systems and I always am clean installing everything. And if I wanted to build something, there's always a debug application with it. So font manager git was font manager git debug. And it's 20 times the size it normally should be. It's a debug functionality. So I'll call it remove instead of add. So let's see if we have something called remove. No, there is remote, but there's nothing to remove. So what if we call it remove debug, right? Remove debug. Okay, remove debug. We know what it is, we know what it does. And then we go ahead and, and write our code. Now, the thing we're talking about The thing we're talking about is this file, open file up here to the etc. And then you start typing make packages.conf, this one. This particular file has, might have a debug. So it's, we're talking about this thing, control C. We're talking about this thing. For reference, that's the one. It's not the make initcpo.conf. So if it's already, so we're gonna reuse the code. So watch the video previously and then watch this one. So this makes more sense. We have another name. So I can basically change this and keep the conf, control H, and change it to, this time it's another file. That's all it is, another file, make package. So then I can do a replace, a replace, and a replace. Okay, what am I going to tell to the people? Here gonna check something, if microcode is in there. Well, actually I'm gonna check something similar if debug is in there, then we can say debugging, oh la 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 la, control Z. All right, control Y. If that's in, then we say debugging is already off. So you won't create two files if you do a yay or a paru and it builds a file, then you get a two of them. A one that's way too big. You're never gonna use debug. Okay. So if that's in there, don't do anything. Nothing to do. If, however, we do not find this particular thing. Basically, you will find just the debug without exclamation mark. Then we're gonna say, changing 
debug to debug. Is it debug? Yeah, okay. Debug like that. Then, that's the file where we're gonna look for it. This is the code. We need to find for this file. So find me, not in the beginning. We need to find something in the beginning in previous video. Just find me debug and replace it with debug. Okay, and that's it. We don't need to know if whether it has a CPU from Intel or not, done. Now the thing is, how many debugs are there? <laughs> Control find debug. There is one debug, so this will get an exclamation mark. Second, and so on. So we need to get in here. Now we might do a search like this, and that's unique. Okay. If that's unique, if we find debug, we don't do anything. But if we find debug with LTO, we change it to debug with LTO. Let's check again. LTO. OK. So now we need to test it. Well, first off, everything is already figured it, figure, typed in. So the debug is already there. I need to go to my file. My script is in the system config. I've closed it. The user local bin. And then remove debug, right? There are plenty of hidden gems like that. Debugging is already off, nothing to do. You can close this window. So that's a good thing, right? There's nothing to do. That's correct. It's there. But what if it isn't? So on a, on a normal Arch Linux distribution, it will have this thing without any changes to make packages. It's this. And if we run it again, then we should see something. He says debugging is already off. That's not good unless I made a mistake and I did not because this is actually saved yes it is so if debug well let's find debug it's gonna be complex so debug 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 Debug, debug. That's the problem. So here is already one. So that's the reason. Okay, I see we have we are in luck because we have this thing. So if we look for this code, that's gonna be unique. But I probably need to do something like this. And then exclamation mark, probably. Maybe some other quotes, let's have a look. Changing debug to debug, that's better. And then if you run it again, debugging is already off, nothing to do. What changed? This changed, this is still there. Let's find some more, just these two. Okay, so that's settled. Script is finished. The only thing you need to do is test and test and test.
What did I say in text here? If you find this, not the debugging is already off, nothing to do. I don't think that's working. Let's do a clean. Changing debug to debug. So we are going in this line. Changing debug to debug. And as a result, it's broken. Oh well, it's it's not added. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. By default, it says debug, so I deleted just too much. <laughs> By default, it's this. I've deleted debug. We could add that as well, but okay. People don't go and make mistakes. So remove debug. <clears throat> um, that's cool. Now everything will be normal again. So if we run it, changing debug into debug, result being debug. And if we run it once more, it's gonna say debugging is already off, nothing to do. Okay. Because this is the default, like this. Okay, good enough for me. Otherwise, I have to go and each time do. Well, it's it's okay. It's fast. Make init CPO. Oh, sorry, make make package.com. I do it like this. And I go in here and type Eric. And I go there and enter and enter. And then I look and then you're looking and you're looking and you're looking and there he is. Debug line ninety five. All right, so another script that we can add to the list. So it goes to this particular place here. So this guy and the one up there, the one up there, the one up there is this one. Compare. Yes, I always say melt and it's so easy, it's so practical. I would give money to have melt. Without melt, the workflow would be much slower. So, remove debug. It might be a minimal description. We know what it is. And if I am on the machine and I got tired of these debug stuff, I just type remove debug and build again. That's that. I think we're at number eight. I'm not sure. I changed some design, the order of things as well. Uh, these two, huh? Let's see, number eight. So this is number nine. Voila, and it goes on the repo when it's ready. And that's the workflow, guys. Enjoy the new scripts and I would say become smarter than the master. Not that I'm a master or a guru or anything like that, but I teach and it's your goal to become, to outsmart the, sm the teacher, right? That's what I always say to my students. You, if you focus yourself and you don't have, well, you have a lot of time, let's say it like that. <laughs> you can become super smart and super focused and a certain item, a certain topic. There it is. All the packages have been created. I push it to the repo and you've got it in 
36. All right, cheers.